Paul Cizap here on deck next. Yeah. Stop clapping. Start stopping now. Stop clapping, start stopping now. Give it up for King Shakur, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So triple X marks the spot. So goons make it rain. As she shake and pump up ass with silicone for fame. And darling Nikki have all of our daughters menaging without any shame. So by 30, they gonna be over the hill. I really wish this new generation of ladies had any IRE or Lauren Hill. Cause they dealing with miseducation. You see, cause nowadays it's a compliment to tell honey that she looks like a bag of money. As if she was born with some price tag. But princess is priceless. You see, we have really done a bad job at teaching our daughters their worth. When every last one of them should be treated and feel as they came into this world from a virgin birth. But now we treat future men and future women like little Judas's and Jezebel's, looking down on them and sticking our nose up at them as if they created this hell. Shit, our, our generation forgot real quick that it. I'm sorry. Opera. Stop, huh? I ain't forgetting the high school opera. <laughs> Our generation easily forgot that voting is just like faith. Without work, it equals nothing. We got so caught up in the hope, yes we can campaign that our asses forgot how to do. So if you want to punch your nose up at somebody or point the finger at somebody, it should only be you. Man in the mirror, woman in the mirror, make that vision of success clearer. Either we're going to build villages or we might as well dig graves. We have to teach truth so we can free slaves. We must be anti, anti-destruction, anti-oppression, anti-distraction, and anti-hate. Because the future that we get is the one that we create. Wow. Wow. 
Women's History Poem celebrating the women. And before I do the poem, I love saying that no, I don't eat ribs, nor do I believe a woman came from one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> growing up, I used to always hear, oh, you're so cute. You're going to be a little heartbreaker when you grow up. So I, I've i been breaking hearts since the first time of my pubic hairs. So I'll eat panties while pulling hair, because I was taught real early. You know, I meant to get a taste of that fair. You said I wanted a buffet plate. So I was being nice, opening doors, pulling out chairs that pretend to listen on dates. While all the time, my devilish ass just wanted some ass. Because my cousins taught me, hey, pussy's the best thing to cash. So I was holding up women's hearts like robbers held up banks, convincing them to open their legs as if they was vault doors. And whether it was the bed, the couch, or the floor, or the backseat of my mama's car, didn't matter to me, you see. I just had to have it. Because I'm a heartbreaker. So I tell her, come here, baby. Let me nurture your dreams. Whisper love in your ear, make you feel secure, gain your trust by doing things that most men won't do. Yeah, my feelings are true, but just know, I'm going to cheat on you. Not out of malice, I just never master monogamy. Don't want the tears, don't want the pain. I guess it's just a tiger in me. Or the Joy Edwards in me. Or the Joy Edwards in me. Or the Magic Johnson in me. Hey, I take full responsibility, but you see, this is what I was raised to be, a heartbreaker. Not a good man, not a good father, not a good husband, not even a good lover. I was trained, you get you. And if that bitch got money, you get that too, because we don't love these hoes. So with Snoop Dogg, Uncle Luke, and my cousins in my brain at 12, I decided I was going to be a player. And I've been breaking hearts ever since, collecting tears and panties along the way. Never allowed myself to be tied down, because my mama told me, like, Smokey Robinson mama told him, son, you better shop around. So I did with her credit cards, taking her friends on dates, taking their love for granted until it became hate. The only thing I'm giving out is broken promises, hard dick and bubble gum. In the case of a kid for other people broken sex. Hey, boy. hey, this girl made me a heartbreaker. So what do you expect? I break hearts and create broken homes and little versions of broken me. So the future, the future promises to have plenty of heartache and pain and destruction, kind of like Haiti after the earthquake. Oh, oh, in prisons, prisons are filled with heartbreakers just like me. And because of my heartbreaking ways, our women have the highest AIDS and herpes rate in the country. Oh, and us heartbreakers, we drop out of school at an alarming rate, so the streets is filled with heart heartbreaking dummies. And we study killing other heartbreakers, and oh, breaking the hearts of our mommies. And the crazy shit is, we've been breaking hearts for so long, we convinced ourselves that we was created to be destroyers. So we take pride in breaking everything that we touch apart, when in reality, we was created to be creators of love, of community, and of nations. But our heartbreaking asses is in a sleepwalking coma, now realizing that we are breaking God's heart.